What's up guys? Today we're gonna test this thing out. I just got this today, like two hours ago. It took forever to update and charge. It actually still has the plastic. Let's take that out from the sensor and the actual camera. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk about the gesture controls and all the other features it has, but I am curious about the image quality that can come out out of this camera. So there's only four things that I look for in a drone. Uh, number one is stabilization. Number two is the camera. Number three is the sensors. And number four, it's the camera again. It's very important for me to get a good camera or image out of a drone. My first drone was a Phantom 4 Pro. I was very, very happy with that drone, but it was really big and there's other options like this. So today what I'm gonna do is just shoot a couple of stuff with this is just to see. I mean, I see a lot of videos online, but I'm not very happy about them. So for me to actually test it out, I have to see for myself what this little camera can do. All right, all right, let's do this. Now I got the white version, not because I'm racist. I would have gotten the brown one, but it's just better to see in the sky, the white one, kind of. So yeah, let's go ahead and put this in there. Take my phone out. I don't have the controller and don't make fun of my flip flops. I've had them forever. So let's turn it on. Turn the power on, press and hold. This is like my actual startup. So let's get the drone started. Turn the app on and let's see what happens. Enter the device. looking for it in my phone. I have a really old phone here. It is not seeing it at all. Let's try it again. Hmm. It's not seeing it. It's not good. Alright, so we're gonna reset. We're gonna press the button. Hold it nine times, nine seconds, I mean. One beep. So it's giving me directions to hold it for nine seconds. And I'm supposed to reset it. So let's try that again. Hmm, funky. Turn my Wi Fi off and on. Oh, there it is. Now it's connected. Cool. Let's fly. Let's hide the mic. Okay, aircraft status. I wish I'd have brought my GoPro, but take off. Oh, there it is. I didn't know that you could actually change ISOs on it. I thought the camera was just completely automated. 
you can change the shutter speed and ISO, not the aperture on this, which is not that bad. I didn't expect it to do that. Uh, just a couple of quick things here. For some reason, the Wi-Fi on a drone, I had to reset it every time I turned it on when I'm setting up for a new shot. I don't know. Maybe you guys can help me out. But every time I would set up, I would turn it on. It's not going to work. I would have to click the back button for nine seconds, and then the Wi-Fi would reboot for it to work. So that's kind of annoying, but hopefully they'll fix that later on. Or maybe I just did something wrong. So at 14% battery life, it wanted to go home already. So uh, fly time total, it's probably, I would say, maybe 11 minutes, 12 minutes of actual flight time because most of the time I was resetting, so that's using battery and all that stuff. Another thing is controlling with your cell phone is pretty difficult. So if you want precise movements, you're probably gonna need, need the controller. I still have to test it out a lot. I haven't seen the image yet. I'm gonna come home in a uh, great and see what I got because I didn't get to see it much. So problems definitely the battery life, but yeah, we all we're, we all know that. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.